Hello, my friends. My name is Carlos Guterres, and I am welcoming you to the 11th chapter of our series about spiritual science. Today, we'll talk about something very important in our journey. Is like a uh, next step after we present exercises of meditation and after to share with you the importance of the language of the symbols. Today I'll talk about how the human being on the spiritual journey can find a way to get free of this prison we create for ourselves, this three-dimensional prison. But before to go ahead, let me share with you a couple of important information. Now in December, I will upload the episode 12. That is a introduction for the meditation we use to guide on December 31st. This is a tradition that lasts at least 70 years. Before me, my teachers guide this meditation year after year. And this year, I will pre record the meditation to invite you to practice throughout the, day, the last day of this year. So, um, this meditation is powerful and very important for not only for our mankind, but for the entire planet, for the planetary consciousness. But you know, um, to, to understand in deep the power of this meditation, uh, I need to share the information on this chapter that's talking about the liberation of our spirit from this three-dimensional trap. And the next chapter, talking about the spiritual, spiritual guides and protectors that are taking care of our mankind. Okay, so um, first of all, we need to, to understand that this experience we have in the physical body is something that is not originally in our pathway. Because the human being was created as a multidimensional being. Originally, we was created with a conscious of a multiple dimensions and the possibility to express ourselves throughout those multiple dimensions. And we were created this way to express the gift we receive for our creator. That is the power to create. You know, creativity is one of the most unique gifts our human race receives. But with this gift, we, we received uh, a purpose. We need to develop the gift of creation 
to little by little keep going perfecting it because our goal is to reach the dimension we call wisdom so when we elevate our consciousness to the dimension we call wisdom our creativity will become perfect so our mission our journey was to practice creativity over and over again learn with our mistakes and in improving and keep perfecting it but during this journey we we got mesmerized for our the power of our creativity and unconsciously we we became trapped for the things we create so the human being create their own prison during the journey exercising the gift of creativity we get we've fell in love for our creation and we lost the 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 power to identify that that creation is just part of a journey i may i mentioned this in a couple of um, episodes so um maybe you can go back to episode number six and seven if you want to know more about this so the three-dimensional prison may uh, made us to dance to continue dwelling in our or original home i mentioned us in chapter seven that we we were creating a region of this uh, galaxy um, that the astronomers recognize as the system of the star Vega. Of course, if you, if you, the astronomers um, focus their attention on this system of Vega, they will tell that it's impossible on that area to have life as we know but the thing is on that area we don't need a physical body to exist the most dense dimension we we need to ex exist there is the emotional body so in the moment we are uh, trapped by the illusion of the three-dimensional uh, creation that we are practicing we begin begin to accumulate more and more and more density until the moment we are so dense that we cannot cannot exist there anymore and so something happens it was the beginning of a cosmic drama the exile of part of our mankind the great cosmic consciousness participate in the process of defining the new place and relocating these fallen human beings in the bible this process was represented metaphorically as the fall of humankind through the expulsion from the garden of eden and you can find similar uh, myths similar metaphors in many different traditions in india they mentioned that there was a time where the gods was here with, walking between us that time was called the golden age but this time move on and now we are living the 
Iron Age. It's, a, it's another uh, example talking about the falling of human consciousness. So the process to find an, a relocate place for us was developed for very elevated consciousness. And they did it not like a punishment, but moved by profound love, they found a way to move 22 billions of human spirits to this area of the galaxy we call Zodiac. This is a region where the rhythm of evolution is slower than there. And on this area, we receive a physical body. So we begin to manifest in a physical dimension, more dense than the emotional dimension. To learn the lessons we need to learn. But on this specific uh, dimension we are now living, we, we need to changing the casing from time to time. We need to change the, the physical body from time to time uh, through a process we call reincarnation. So here we have the, the story of our journey. Originally, we were, we were creating a place called Druva Sea. This place is the area of the star Vega. So our spirits were sent from Vega to the region of the polar star, the northern star. On this um, area, there is a huge consciousness, more, very elevated consciousness called the ancient of ages. The, in the Masonic tradition, they relate this consciousness to the creator. But you know, this consciousness, the, the ancient of ages is not the creator of everything, but he is a, a very, uh, evolves consciousness, one of the most developed consciousness in our galaxy. And in the Masonic tradition, they called this consciousness the great architect. And he architect the plan to help the fallen humans to find a place to reconnect to their own balance and harmony and begin a journey of evolution to reach a, a level of consciousness that will allow them to return back home. From the polar star, the northern star, we are sent to this area of the galaxy called the Zodiac. This area was a specific area created for the evolution of the angels, the angelic consciousness. But we were sent for this area because on this area, we have the opportunity to experience a kind of evolution that is slower than the original one, but it was still evolution. So when the mankind, you know, this part of mankind reached the zodiac, we were sent first to the Sirius star. We have a star called Sirius A, where there is elevated consciousness that help us to find 
a perfect way to reconnect to our life purpose. And our life purpose is to exercise the gift of creativity and work to make this gift more and more perfect. So after to, to receive the guidance and instructions on this area of Series A, we are sent to, to the sun. And the great consciousness of the sun gave us a powerful gift. He gave us a guide. And this guide is known as our higher self. So our higher self who stayed us during all the time, uh, our spirit to stay on this area of the universe called Zodiac. And the higher self will be in charge to remind us about our purpose and guide us in the moment our consciousness is awake and we begin to search for the spiritual things. And after to receive this mighty gift, the sun, we are sent to the earth planet. And the spirit of earth, the mother earth, during this process, prepare a branch of the um, kingdom of animals, a branch that evolves from the monkey to become the perfect um, vehicle for our physical manifestation. So this is how happens our journey from our home in the Viga star until to, to arrive here on earth. But this journey is a journey of the spirit. So, you know, uh, we don't need spaceships. We were not brought here by spaceships. And today people are looking for aliens. We are aliens because we are not created on this area of the universe. And it was not necessary, the other aliens to create mutations in the animal kingdom here to prepare a body to trap us and make us slaves of a higher and most more evol evolved uh, race of aliens. No, what happens is much simple, much more simple. We came here, guide for very elevated consciousness to help us to reconnect to our essence and reconnect to our life purpose. So it was a, a work of love. We are not expelled. We are sent to a place where we can adapt our limitations to find a way to evolve and return back home. Arriving on earth, what happens? You know, here is an exile, but the exile was not a punishment, but the consequence of the illusory reason that we create for ourselves. Ourselves that are, we are multidimensional beings, but we believe we are just three dimensional beings. So we create our prison because a lack of perception. The prison is a three-dimensional body. And it was created to adapt to the limitations of our perception. You know, we that originally had multiple sense, we are now limited to just five sense. And we need to, to 
work deep inside of ourselves to begin a process of awakening. And on this process, of course, we'll reconnect or rediscover other of our senses. So the illusory power of our mind is our jailer. So our limited perception creates the prison. And our limited understanding of our mind keep us on this prison. So the awakening of our consciousness is the first step for our liberation from the prison called the Zodiac. The high cosmic consciousness are not the jailers of human beings, but their guardians, you know. All those consciousness, they are observing us but not to keep us pre prisoners, but to help us to find a way out. They care to protect and inspire the awakening of the human being. They really want us to find a way back home. The homecoming depends of this awakening. So our liberation depends of our spirit awakening. So we can begin the journey back home. And this journey has five steps. The first step is very simple. The first step of this journey measures approximately 13 inches is the journey from our head to the center of our heart. The basic exercise I share with all of you on the chapters number eight and nine. This is the beginning of the process we call meditation. So we need to move our consciousness from our head to the center of our heart. 13 inches is the distance of this first step. But this is the most important of these five steps because this represents our awakening. The second step is to move our consciousness from our heart to the heart of the planet. But why our heart is so important? Because on our heart, we'll find our higher self. Our higher self is waiting for us in the center of our spiritual heart. And in the moment we connect directly to our higher self, he'll be the guide to the second step. And the second step, is from the, our heart to the heart of our planet. So the second step is at 3,962 miles. And on the heart of the planet, on the spiritual heart of the planet, we'll find the consciousness of our planet. We'll find the spirit we call the Mother Earth. And she will share the knowledge we need to understand ourselves, to understand why we are here and how we can go ahead in our journey. The third step, we have a distance about 93,000 miles is the dis distance between the heart of, of Earth to the heart of the Sun.
And this is huge in the moment in our medita me meditation. We can jump from the heart of our planet to the heart of the sun. A new perspective, perspective will be presented to us and we'll begin to go beyond the limitations of the three-dimensional world. The spirit of the sun, the high consciousness of the sun will bring, bring us clarity to understand the process, the complete process, and prepare ourselves for the next step. And the next step, it's a long step, it will take 8.6 light years from the heart of the sun to the heart of the star called Sirius A. And there we'll find elevated consciousness. The guardians and protectors of mankind. There we'll find inspiration and wisdom to give the last step. And the last step is from the heart of Sirius A to the heart of the northern light, uh, northern star the place all the project of our journey to be manifested here on earth was created so when we jump from the heart of Sirius for the heart of the northern star we will contact the great architect he is not god but is very elevated consciousness you may say a son of god a son of the creator and he'll guarantee that we fulfill our purpose here on earth and he'll give the passport to return back home In many ancient uh, cultures, we can find the symbols of this journey. For example, the Babylons created this symbol, the Sphinx. And this Sphinx, Bab Babylonian Sphinx is made by a combination of four beings. You know, the body of a bull, the chest and the front legs of a lion, wings of an eagle, and the face of a human being. In the Christian tradition, we have something similar. We have those four animals representing the four apostles who wrote the four gospels. So John is the eagle, Luke is the bull, Mark, the lion, and Matthew, the human expression. And between the Hebrews, they have the Ezekiel vision, where he saw angels coming from heaven, and angels with four faces a face of a lion, a face of a human being, a face of an eagle, and a face of a bull. So this is the representation of our journey back home, our journey of liberation. And there's an, um, a power, a profound power in those symbols. Those symbols represent the awakening, the process of awakening. So the first step we call the initiation is when our consciousness 
reconnect to the higher self. And the higher self will invite us to go to the heart of the planet. The heart of the planet represents the consciousness of a bull. The heart of the consciousness of a bull is interesting. You know, a bull is a strong, a bull is powerful, and the bull is very grounded. But the bull missed one thing. The bull has no consciousness about his own strength. That's the reason a boy with a stick can guide a bull to whatever he wants. But you know, the first step is to connect our own inner strength. The second step is when our consciousness returns back to the sun, there the symbol of the lion is, is telling that we have a being strong as the bull, grounded because keep the four legs on earth but the lion has a consciousness of its strength then when we go to the series b series a a new level of consciousness will happen represented by the ego the ego is a strong The eagle has consciousness of its strength, but the eagle has the wings, powerful wings of imagination that helps to find altitudes that no bull or lion will reach. The altitudes of the spiritual spiritual awareness and this consciousness will finally take back to the understanding that we are beyond the animal kingdom we are humans so is this this is the last level of understanding that we need to reach to return back home so you can find interesting representation about the the two journey the journey journey that brought us here to the material manifestation is represented by the four animals in the right side of the screen so when we lose consciousness that we are multi-dimensional and we began to believe that we are just two dimensional. This is the consciousness of the monkey, the consciousness of the parrot that talk, talks, talks, but have no idea what's talking, the consciousness of the boar, and finally the consciousness of the pig. Trapped in the mood, looking for his nutrition in the mud. In the left side, we have the representation of the evolution of man. So the bull represents the consciousness that we will recognize our strength. The consciousness of the lion will teach us how to use this strength. The consciousness of the ego will guide us to altitudes of the spiritual realms to reach ourselves, to reach our human perception of everything. So my friends, this is the message from this chapter. This is a beautiful journey, as I mentioned before. 
we need to understand the language of symbols, but we need to practice, not only accumulate information, but we need to practice meditation. So I suggest you to keep practicing the meditations presented in the episode eight and nine. On the next episode, I'll share with you more about the consciousness that are protecting, protecting and guiding us, the consciousness who dwell in the area of the star series. And so it will be the introduction for the meditation. I'll guide you on the December 31st. So if you like this video, I want to say thank you for follow me and don't forget to give a like and if you are interested in more videos you may sign up my channel carlos guterres channel you'll find in youtube thank you so much and until the next video bye